Where are we going? You follow Isabeau for around for a while, going through Dormont, then the forest, until... A field? There's nothing around. What could he possibly need? So, what do you want me to do? Huh? Oh, um... Lay down with me? Easy enough. You lay down. And then... And then, look up! You look up... Oh, stars. It's almost nighttime then. It is nighttime. Stars, 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 all around you. You inhale sharply. You know, when you asked me if I needed help earlier, I wasn't sure what to say. I don't really need any help with anything. And I did all I needed to prepare for tomorrow and stuff. But I saw you run around and help everyone today, and that seemed kind of fun. And so I thought... Sid is making sure to help everyone today, but I just need- I want to hang out with him. And so, um, that's it. That's all I wanted to do for you today. Let's just hang. Oh. Oh, oh. Give me a break. But why stars? Oh, um, so you know how you say this word when you're annoyed or something bad happens? I don't know what language it is, but I always thought it was like a swear word, like crab. And I looked in a few books, and I couldn't find the word anywhere, and I got really curious. And one day, I heard someone else say it. So I asked them, and they said it means stars. And I noticed you know stuff about the sky. You talked about planets once, and the sun, like you really knew what you were talking about. And sometimes, when we slept outside, you'd spend most of the night looking at the night sky. And I thought that was interesting, because I never thought about what's up there before. But, um, so I thought maybe I'm like, you'd like to see the stars? Together? Or just in general? Hmm. Oh no, was I wrong? Was it really more of an actual swear word like crab? Where you don't actually like stars and stars are bad and gross? Did I slip in? Did I mess up? <laughs> No, you didn't step in it. Oh, phew. I got scared. <laughs> anyway, I heard some people can see stuff in the stars sometimes. Like pictures. They're called... Const... something? Constellations. Constellations, that's right. Yes, that. Do you know some? You look up the stars. You don't recognize any of them. No, I don't know any. Huh. You're saying I didn't step in, but... Sif... Change the subject? No, no, you're fine. <laughs> Tell me something. Something? Something about you. Oh. Okay. Um... Well, okay. You know I'm from Jovent, right? I lived there my whole life. It's a nice big city. More than one house, too. Way bigger than Dormont. Big enough that you don't know the life story of every person you see. <laughs> anyway, you might think it's surprising, I don't know. But when I see Bonnie's age, I was like, the smartest party pants around. Yeah, I can tell, you know how to make bombs. Not like, slightly smarter or anything, but like, the nerdiest kid you can imagine. Huh. You have trouble imagining Isabeau as anything other than the boisterous man he is. <laughs> like, really, imagine it. Big glasses, super neat braids. Always knows the answer to any question the teacher has. Always getting perfect grades. Always too shy and focused on grades to even know how to make a friend in the playground. That was me. And, um, I didn't really like myself. Cause, like, I was smart, but I really hated being shy. Being alone. Not even able to ask a classmate for a pen. Because I was so paralyzed with fear. And I was ready to spend the rest of my life like this. But one day, after years of living like this, I looked at myself, and the way I was, and the way I existed in this world. I looked at that kind kid in the mirror, and I thought, Is this it? Is this really who I want to be? Couldn't I just be someone else? Someone that can make friends? Someone people could love? 
Someone I could love? Someone I wouldn't feel ashamed of being? Couldn't I just... Change? And that's one of the things people do go to houses for, you know? To learn things, to train, to do body craft on yourself, to change. And you can stay for a bit and come back changed, and no one would know say a thing. They just accept the new person you've become. So I went to one of Jovan's houses and threw myself into it, trying to be the coolest, strongest, most dependable person around. Lifting weights, training my voice to be deeper, louder, crafting my own body to be cooler, stronger, Licking myself in the mirror every morning and yelling, I'm the coolest! <laughs> change is destruction, you know. To bring about change, you need to know you might hurt your people. Might hurt yourself, even. So you always have to be careful and think about whether the destruction you bring about is worth it. I decided it was. So, the person I was before, I made them disappear. Kill them with my bare hands. Made sure they'd never, ever come back. So I could live. Is that really... But wasn't there parts of being a nerdy kid that you still kind of liked? Uh, I, it sounds bad when I say it like that. The kid I was before is still here. Ah. I just, um, grew around them? To protect them? Building an armor until it becomes the real thing. So I could become someone strong, someone outgoing, someone comforting to be around, someone I would have liked to know before. Meh, it doesn't matter that much. I'm here, is what I mean. And I love myself so much more now than I did before. Not even the person I'm now is a work of progress. I want to change still. I became a big and strong, dependable, happy-go-lucky dude, because that's who I needed to be. But lately, I've been feeling like I need to let it down the airhead facade a bit, act less stupid and that sort of stuff. It doesn't feel great when people think I'm stupid, just because I act a certain way. So I might change again soon, and become someone slightly new. That sounds cool, right? Oh, you never knew. Isabel wanted to change to become someone new, and he did it. He must have worked for so long to make his wish come true. <laughs> I might change to be a mix of a jock and a nerd, balancing it all, you know? <laughs> so, you change into a jerd? You change into a knock? <laughs> what kind of pun is this? Jerd knock, jerd knock, jerd knock, jerd knock, jerd knock, jerd knock, 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 knock. More like a jerd. Sounds better, doesn't it? Better mouthfeel. Hmm, they both sound bad, Aiza. No, don't say it like that. <laughs> You can be a smart jock. A smart jock. How avant-garde, right? Anyway, after we beat the king tomorrow and go in our separate ways, I was just changing to someone else. Someone who can be both strong and smart. Both at once. What a concept. Doesn't that sound like someone cool? Doesn't that feel like someone you wouldn't feel ashamed of knowing? Is that what he thinks? Isa. Yeah, Sif? I never felt ashamed of knowing you. Not even a little bit. Huh. You're gonna make me blush, Sif. And well... You know, I feel the same, right? You're like, maybe the coolest person I know. You're... you know that, right? And I really like spending time with you. When we hang out, I always discover new things. Like, cool theater stuff, or even something just new about you. And I like how you always have a pun ready for any situation. How you breathe in per specific ways sometimes. And I wish I could breathe with you and make you feel better. And I like the way your face looks when you eat your favorite foods. And I want to know more about you. Talk with you more. Laugh with you more. And... And I... Oh, he's gonna say it finally? You can't look away from him. I... Whoa, is that a shooting star? Hey, look up. Isn't it kind of cool? Hmm... You look away from him. And look up at the starry sky. There's no shooting star. 
Beetle mind. Yep, he still can't say. Ah! See? I told you they'd be here. Bonnie? Mm. You heard Isa mumble to himself about it earlier. More like. Hi, Sifrin. Hi, Isabeau. We figured you'd be here. Can we join you? Everyone is here. Good to see you, everyone. Such a beautiful night. Was it your idea to come here, Isabeau? It was. Under the stars, huh? How romantic. Very well done, Isabeau. What? No, it wasn't romantic at all. Just a pals outing. A pretty tang out. I, of course, would bring any one of you here. Uh-huh. I brought our food. So we can eat here. A nightly picnic. Oh, I can smell samosas. Yummy. Yeah, I made a lot. Friend, take one. Take two, even. You deserve it. Sifrin worked hard today, didn't they? Thank you for your help earlier. Jump. Yes, thank you, Sifrin. You've been a great help today. Friend taught me how to fight. I've been able to help you tomorrow. Oh, I'm looking forward to it, Bonnie. Zah, did Friend help you out today, too? Me freeze. Did you? <laughs> Yeah, I think I did. Oh, look at his face. He's so happy. Of course Sif helped me today. As well as looking at you, smiling brightly. Thank you for spending time with me, Sif. Oh. You hide your face beneath your rim of your hat. How wonderful. Thank you, oh great helper. Here, have another samosa. And some some pate and bread. I'm sure you want some tea, too. And here's some of my curry. Your plate is overflowing. You can't eat all this. Look how small he is. You can see everything on your plate sway back and forth. You eat as much as possible before everything falls down. Oh. You burp. Ew. <laughs> nice reflexes, Sifrin. Everyone starts laughing happily. You laugh, too. You're surrounded by your allies. Your heart lifts. You love them. You're glad you get to spend time with them. Oh, so fucking happy. <gasps> You're glad you know them better. So this is what the goal was. You're glad. Brent, you okay? You want more snacks? You smile. Yes, please. Then eat. Eat as much as you want. You all ate and laughed under the stars. Tomorrow... Once again, you go into the house and fight the king. But today, today you're happy.